Because Schenkenberg was there. Look for an accent. Okay. The craziest thing happened this morning. I was home on my treadmill, and the phone rings, and you will not believe who it was. Liz, it's uh, Floyd. Oh, my God. Floyd called? You were using your treadmill? Yes. And yes, Pete, I use it every day. What did Floyd want? He's in town. He was only supposed to be here for a day, but there's some big storm coming, and his flight on Jet Fun got canceled. Jet Fun? Is that the one with the foot baths? Oh, no, that's Airbike. They also have in-flight pornos and NBC News. Jet Fun's the one that hands out fresh popcorn. Listen to me! Floyd wants to know if he can crash at my apartment. So, what's the big deal? I haven't seen Floyd since he left for Cleveland. The last time I tried to get in touch with him, some Rust Belt tramp answered the phone, and now he's here, and I don't know what crash means. I just don't want to embarrass myself. I want to be top dog for once instead of just dog. Then you need to make him regret ever leaving. You need to pretend you're doing great. I am doing great. Mm. For once, I am not going to be Jan Brady. I'm going to be Marsha, damn it. Oh, my nose. My bad. See? It's starting already. Look out, Floyd. There is a new Liz. And... Ooh, sandwich day. What's that? You've never heard of sandwich day? Why, it's the most wonderful day of all. Once a year, the Teamsters go to this Italian sandwich shop in Brooklyn. No one knows what it's called or where it is. It's a Teamster secret, but they buy us these sandwiches. Oh, such sandwiches and the dipping sauce. Oh, joy. God bless us, everyone. Mwah. Yeah! Can't believe sandwich day is over. Hey, look. Lutz is still eating. You're savoring it? What, you think you're better than us? No, that's not it at all. Since my surgery, I had to eat slowly or my insights might explode. Give me it! Uh, oh, it's like knives! Look, Liz's lemon sandwich is still on her desk. Oh, taking Liz's food is not good. Where's my mac and cheese? But as far as Liz's lemon knows, her sandwich never came. Uh, Liz. Floyd, I didn't see you there. Wow. You look great. Do I? I'm pretty tired from playing as hard as I work. Okay, now, bring up 23 and give me some air. My key. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing this. Uh, hey, can I take you out to dinner tonight? You know, maybe we hit that barbecue place you puked at. You'll have to be more specific. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see you back at your place. Oh, somebody get me out of this dress. I can't breathe. Huh. You guys are working hard for once. Where's my sandwich? Let's made us do it. No, it was Frank. No, hey, it was, it was Frank. Frank. I'm a patsy. I feel it. Was it. Why? This is all my fault, Miss Lemon, because I let it happen. And the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. Please ask my permission before you quote me, Kenneth. I don't know how, but you're going to get me another sandwich. Or I'm going to cut your face up so bad you'll have a chin. You'll all have chins! <laughs> wow, snow in May. Thank you, global warming, for extreme unpredictable weather patterns. There was actually a tornado in Cleveland last week. Destroyed an entire city block. Three bowling alleys, a liquor store, and the liquor store museum. So do you have time to grab dessert? Yikes, do you know it is 4.30? I haven't stayed up this late since college. And behind this trap door, more orcs. That'll really piss off Samir. My flight's in two hours. I'm sorry, I gotta go. You know, sometimes I really regret leaving New York. Like, right now, for instance. <laughs> well, what does New York have that Cleveland doesn't have? I read that you guys are getting an Ikea. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. We've just been burned before. It was really great seeing you, Liz. I'll see. Now turn and 
look back at me. Atta boy. Eat it up, Cleveland. Oh, God. Youths. After last night's freak snowfall, it's 98 humid. In other global warming news, a tornado hit downtown Detroit, putting out several fires. A fire department... Hello? How did it go with Floyd? Poor guy got lemon. Hard. Started babbling about how he wished he'd never left New York. Did you do that thing I showed you? No, Jenna. I did not come back from the bathroom and hand him my underwear. That's how I met that mobster. Next time Floyd brings some corn pone tranny back to his apartment, all he's gonna be thinking about is me standing there in the snow, looking like the one who got away. Crow! <laughs> <laughs>